Take a moment, see yourself sitting here, feet on the floor, roof above your head. Take a moment, we're going to grow roots out of our feet. We're gonna grow them down, push them through the floor, through the basements, down into the soil far beneath the earth, far beneath your house. And we're gonna push down through that soil until we come to the waters far below. So push down around the rocks, go around the boulders, find the bedrock far below and spread out searching. At last, you find that pool of cool, crisp waters. You go dip your roots into it and slowly bring that water back up into your body. So with each and every breath, pull that water up through the roots, pull them up into your feet and into your legs. Feel these cool waters come on up as you breathe deeper, bring them into your loins and into your belly. Feel these crisp waters running throughout your body as you bring them further and further up into your chest and into your head. Till finally, as you take your next breath, waters come up and through the head and through your hands and back into the earth. Feel these cool, crisp waters of chaos. One of the powers of potential running throughout your body. Then turn your focus upwards to the sky. We're going to grow our branches up to the ceilings and up through the roofs, up into the sky high above. If there are clouds, we push the branches through the clouds in search of that one star directly above our heads. As we reach out, we pull down the fires from that star. We bring these fires down into our branches. With each every breath, we bring these fires down further and further so they mingle with the waters from below. So breathe in deeply and bring it into your head and into your chest. Feel the warm fires mixing with the cold water as you breathe deeper and bring them down into your bellies and into your loins. Continue to feel the mixing. See yourself glowing with the light from above, the waters from below. And with your next breath, bring them further down to your legs and into your feet until you can see your entire body filled with the waters from below and the fires from above, mixing throughout your body. The powers of order and chaos, the raw powers of potential. Take of these powers, drink deeply of them. Fill yourself up with whatever you need from either of the powers. Bring yourself to your center. Then draw just a little bit more. When you're ready, push the waters back down into the earth. Push the fires back up into the skies. And know that if you ever need them, you can always reach down and reach up, pull them back in. But for now, disconnect, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. When you're ready, open your eyes, prepare for ritual. As usual, our first offering goes to the Earth Mother. You surround us, you support us, you feed us, you shelter us. Recently, you've been showing us the awesome power you have with the storms that have been coming through, at least in this area, if not the entire East Coast. We call on you today to ask you to join us, we call to you, make this offering and say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Spirit, accept our offerings. We're here to honor the gods, the dead, and the land spirits. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, you run deep into the earth. You are a connection to the ancestors. Through you, 
we can reach the lands of the ancestors, the lands of the dead. And to you, we give you the silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. And mighty fires, you take our offerings and you burn them and you transform them. And you send them high into the sky to lands of the shining ones. You are a pathway to the shining ones and to the heavens. To you, we give this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. And mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the wells below, into the ancestors. And your branches run high into the sky, to lands of the shining ones. You are a pathway between all the worlds. If you water, we give you incense. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. Six. At each and every one of our groves, by the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters, and the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. Next, we call on the gatekeepers. To all of you who have aided us in the past, you have opened the ways between the worlds. You who take our messages far and wide and bring back to us all that we need to hear. You who guard us and protect us as we do our works. You who guide us as we do our work. We call on you once more to do all these things. We call on you once more to aid us in our rights this evening. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. And now, gatekeepers, join your magic with ours in each and every one of our homes. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworld. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let our trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Let them be opened in each and every one of our homes. <clears throat> Next. To the ancestors, to those of you who have come before us, you of our family and those of our own lineages, we offer you welcome. To you who we have chosen, our friends, our mentors, our inspiration, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who are in this very earth, you who are here before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And to the land spirits, all of you have fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. So all of you have leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all the unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, and all of those who are around us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And last but not least, to the shining ones, to gods and gods of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us as our patrons and our matrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you who are of this very land, you who are here before we came, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who watch over us, but are unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. And now, if you have any offerings you wish to make, Please feel free to do so. If 
said many times before, a calmer heads prevail in the end. And in memory of one of the many men that helped shape who I was throughout my life in the Boy Scouts. I learned of our loss of you today. To you and may your memory always survive. There are no further offerings to be made. My kindred, we have given to you. We give to you one last time, but this time we ask that we get blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred all, we ask what blessings do we receive. The ancestors. <laughs> the ancestors give us one show. The root of joy and happiness. Thank you, Tom. The land spirit. <laughs> they give us Isa. The root of ice. Stagnation and sometimes stability. And the shining ones. They give us a spark, Kanos, the torch, inspiration. <sighs> Embrace the stagnation and get out of that stagnation what happiness you can find and what inspiration you can find to break it. I think that these are good omens. Do we accept these omens? We accept these omens. Then I need to go quickly get myself waters as I forgot them. Without something liquid to hallow, it's very difficult to hallow a liquid. <laughs> HM Mighty Ones, we have given to you. And we ask that you fill our waters, each and every one of our waters, with the omens you have just heard. Fill them with one shell, the joy and happiness from the ancestors. Fill them with Isa the ice stagnation from the land spirits. Fill them with the katas, the spark of inspiration to break the stagnation from the shining ones. AJ Mighty Ones, fill these waters so that in each and every one of our houses. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. Now, let's thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, be you our patrons and matrons, be you of this place, or be you unknown to us. For all they have done for us tonight, shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, be you the animal kin, be you the plant kin, would be you the unseen kin for all that you've done for us tonight. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, all of you have walked before us, our family, 
our chosen family, we're in this very earth for all that you have done for us tonight. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. Mighty gatekeepers, once more you have aided us. You've taken our messages far and wide. You've brought back what we needed to hear. You have allowed us to work in safety for all that you have done for us. Gatekeepers all, once again, we thank you. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. And now, gatekeepers, we ask once more you join your magic with ours and in each and every one of our houses. Let our wells become but water. Let our fires become but flames. Let our trees become but trees once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. Let them be closed in each and every one of our homes. And last but not least, Earth Mother, without you we would not be here. Without you we could not survive. We honor you first and we thank you last for all that you do for us. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Spirit, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>